everybody welcome back to another edition of the ecostructure machine expert training i'm your host leandro mada and in this video we're going to talk about the variables that we have on the software so let's go to the presentation so basically just to have a rough idea of the variables that we have on the software we have the local variables global variables and then we can define like uh, io variables just to have a uh, rough description or rough idea how we can divide the variables that we're going to enter into details later so local variables are the one located in the PUU and can only be used in the PUU where it's defined okay so in the past we saw okay when we create a PUU we have the variables over there so if we go at this example okay on the PUU we should be able to create variables over here okay in order to see it only on the POU that we have created as program or if you have another one as FB or um, function you should be able to do to see the variables in there in the local part which is usually in the top now global variables are the ones that are located in the GBLs and by GBLs that's something that you're going to see quite often here it stands for global variable list okay and can be used in any POU you can see here in this example, I have this GBL, okay, with this variable, and it's called in this PUU, okay. As you can see, the variables over here, okay, doesn't have any other identification, okay. This one just start with GBL dot and the name of the variable, okay, as you can see here, and then it can be used in the program. Then we have the IO variables, okay, but for that, I'm going to create another uh, presentation, okay, so we can only focus on the I.O. Uh, inputs and output variables. Now, in this video, we're going to focus only in the local variable that we have in the POU and in the GBL variables. There is also another kind of variables that is called uh, NBL, uh, Network Variable List, okay, that, that will be, uh, that we can focus that later. So. If we continue with this, you can probably ask this question. Why do I need to use the GBL name and then dot and the name of the If you were using so machine in the past, uh, you just create a GBL with the variable that you have and then you just use the name of the variable that you have created in there, which is good. Okay, but in in machine expert we have we also have that in some machine but we have by default this um, pragma attribute okay this is called qualify only which is in the top of the gbl so everything below that is mandatory to use the name of the gbl dot the name of the variable okay you can delete this part but as is, as i mentioned here i don't recommend it to do it because the idea is to um no means much okay with the name of the local variables and that can be happen over here if i don't use that pragma content over here attribute uh the system didn't the system is not going to know which is the right variable or should i call this one in the PUU or should you call this one okay so that is the main idea of this okay so avoid deleting this you use it okay use the gbl to create the variables okay so now that you know that it's time to create the gbls and for that is very simple okay we just need to go to the application this is wrong it should be over here right click add object global variable list and then you also have the easiest way to just move into the application okay click on there and you should be able to uh, a small amount of information and select the global variable list now there is also different ways to visualize the information okay we have the tabular view which is this one the tabular here you can see in the PUU and GBL that you have the option to see the tabular and basically it's a tabular view that you can see row and columns okay here to easily identify the variable that you have another way to do it is by textual view so you just click over this icon over here you can find okay and you can see the text for this so 
if we go to the program now okay so right click over here add option global variable gbl mm, training Oop, training add you have the virus over here and in we're going to focus um in another video how to create different variables okay we have we have different data types in machine expert and probably it's going to take more time to explain that i didn't want to focus in another video so what i want to focus here is just give you an idea how we can create the gbl and what is useful so with this button over here we can create a variable by default we have this name okay and we can change it so x bar zero one okay if the variable is already created okay it will give you this okay so in case you are using this name that you haven't changed it it can change that in the different part of the software okay so in my case i have this i just press okay because it's only coding there okay so now it's going to change okay and here you can find this the text using this one over here and the test is useful because you just copy here or just um if you need to create several variables you can do an excel or another another kind of uh, program and, and easy to change over here okay so i usually use the text one rather than the tabular okay for this kind of stuff you also have the possibility to initialization the address and comments but we're going to focus that later okay so if i open this now okay which is a pou you also have the same button that you have on the gbl to create variables okay here x auxiliar boolean and then if you go to text you have this so you can also create another one here here you can change this if you want i ax w ax and you have like word we're gonna see this later the different type of variable that we have and then if you want to use it in our code it's much better to use the tabular view drag drop it in the text and you have it over there okay so in this way you can program but i'm going to focus in more detail later how you can program the different kind of language with some tips so this is how you can um program the gbls what i recommend you to do is to uh, create the different gbls that you have with the different variables that you want to use in the program and use this just for auxiliar content that you have okay if i just need to create a new variable over here for example um uh training okay you can find this auto declare over here okay here you can find the scope you have the bar if you use bar it's going to create a variable over here in the local okay so i just show you here the values is in there I'm going to create a new one uh machine instead of using the bar input up or in up okay this one is more related to the uh, function block pou i'm going to use global and in global you can see the option over here we have the gbls over here gbl and training so i'm going to use training over here just put in there uh, hello word it's a comment okay here you can see the variable that is created okay but we have a error over here because it's not defined okay so in this case what we need to do is to add the gbl name that we have gbl underscore training dot machine it's going to be fine in there and it's defined now another way to do it is to directly create or put the variable gbl training dot um expert okay so in this way it opened the same view but 
the scope is really the bar global and it has selected the object so we just click in there and the value is, is created so we're going to focus in more detail later okay how you can define the different values but i want to to know the concept of using the gbls because it's a powerful tool it's like having a small databases in the plc but it's called uh, global variable list where you can define all the values that you want and then call those variables in each pou that you have okay rather than using the local okay so the local that you should use for auxiliary things that we need to do but it's always have this is useful to have in the gbl so you can easily share that and use a memory address in those gbls that would be much better so this is it for the um variables that we have the local and the global variables that we have on the on the poc and the locals and inside the pous and the global ones and the, the gbl so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.